How is everyone doing today? This is Greybeard here. I wanted to share with you what a, a project I've been working on. It's actually pretty cool. I ended up picking up some old LED traffic lights that someone was selling and did some research on how to do some electronics to make railroad lights. I'm still working on everything. I'm about ready to start prepping the shields and everything to start primering and painting black. So I wanted to share that with you. Just one minute. Here is the lights and shields I've been working on. Plus the box that is waterproof that I picked up. And as you can see, let me open it up here. I used, I recycled a box from work that I ended up, they were about ready to throw away. I ended up picking up a 12 volt with a 10 watt power supply. A speed relay for a vehicle. A turn signal switch for a vehicle. And a 15 inch fuse. This way it won't blow anything else up. You know, it'll kill all that. And of course, I got some other stuff just for looks. I haven't, I just wanted the holes to be still sealed. I didn't want no water getting in. But then the w wires come out to the lights, and they look like this. And they take a second, there they go. Then I can also speed them up or slow them down with the speed sensor, the relay. I can make them go really slow or fast, like that. But I usually try to keep them more realistic. But that's what I've been working on. And I'm about ready to start painting them today. I'm going to start getting that ready. And then I'll get more video of that going. So stay tuned. Alright. I just got done scuffing everything. Now I'm getting ready to wipe everything down. Let me get this step done and I will return. Alright, here we go. After cleaning everything off, I primer the backs, getting ready to put flat black rust-oleum that I use. And I wish I had a tripod, this way everyone can see the steps as I go. And as soon as this dries, I will start doing that. Because it's kind of hard to hold a phone and paint at the same time. I will get right back. Alright, I'm going to try to hold it and paint at the same time. And I'm, right now I'm doing a tack coat. Just enough to let it set up before I get more and go really heavy on everything. And go over here and do the same with this one. As you can see. Never start out heavy. And it keeps from getting runs. And if you go heavy, a lot of times it will not allow you to have the paint stick all at once. Always do a tack coat. This way nothing pills or flakes off. Do more up here. I tell you what, it's starting to look like something and I can't wait to see the end. And I still got to get a metal pole yet to mount everything on for the brackets I got to do yet. And it, this for that starting to look like something. And 
and we're living in the country and I have a heck of a view I can see the highway from my house and I can see downtown and everything from the backyard I know in the front yard where I'm going to put it right in front of my garage I bet you people will be like okay there was never a train there before now we got a train crossing over there and since when did we have a train go over there you know it probably draw crowds because with being LED lights it's going to be really bright but there's that I'm going to let it dry and return in a minute all right I just laid the first coat on the other side I tell you what it's starting to look good Hope you guys all enjoy what you're seeing. Because it's pretty interesting. You know, not everyone can come up with their own ideas. I researched some plans for measurements for the correct length and width, everything. So I have the right schematics as the actual railroad lights that are at the crossings so I did have a I do have a diagram that I will post with this and share how I wired everything up so if anyone wants any information on it feel free to contact me I will happy to help you make your own I will get back to you in a short bit here all right, here's the final coat. It really turned out good. All I'm doing is letting it dry. And here's the paint I was using. I usually get it from Walmart. Or you can go to Home Depot. It doesn't matter. But usually when I'm in the area, I just stop at Walmart. And it's quick and easy, in and out. Self-checkout. Don't have to deal with too many lines. So here you go, once that dries, I will put the lights underneath again and plug her in. This way everyone can see everything, what it would look like after it's all painted in flat black. So thanks again. All right, here they are, all painted. They're looking good. And I have my schematics that I drew up and you got the plus for power negative then you got your flasher relay then you got your your regular turn signal relay right there then you got your lights going in for both of them and then i usually from the lights i always like on the positive i would connect that uh fuse that's where I would overlay it and install it. But that's how it turned out. And then I also have the diagram I came up for the circle and everything right there. So there's that. And I'm going to show you here what it looks like while they're lit. And you can see it's glowing off the top of the ceiling. But imagine with it being completely dark. And let me uh, shut the garage here and you can see what I'm saying. Alrighty there. That's what's the door shut. You sure tell it's bright and it's really glowing off the top of the ceiling. And so this is a uh, part one i will have more as i go be sure to look for part two and if you have any questions i'm happy to answer please feel free um like i said i'm graybeard uh please give me a thumbs up and subscribe it's free and we'll see you later. Have a wonderful night and enjoy your weekend. Thank you.
Here's my wonderful dog, Chevelle. She's so sweet. She's really good to us. She washes over the place. And really happy. She enjoys it out here. And what a view. I tell you what. We have a great view out here. Can't beat that.